The first week of June is upon us and it will feature some pretty interesting weather nationwide. If you don't love the weather you're experiencing now, wait, because we are about to see a pattern flip across the country and meteorologist Rhythm Reed is here to explain some of the details. So Rhythm, before we get to the pattern flip, let's first talk about the thunderstorm risk because we're already starting the month with some pretty big potential for action. You got that right, Rachel. For today, it is going to be towards the southern end of Manitoba, looking at some severe risk for large hail and localized flooding. It's all thanks to this low pressure moving up from the Dakotas, bringing with it some of that southerly heat. And as the cold front from the north starts to push towards the south, that's what's going to bring some of these thunderstorms to fruition. Now, we have been seeing a lot of energy building up across the prairies, a lot of moisture. We're going to get to the BC story in a second, but rhythm, Let's talk about some troughs and some systems that we will see develop across the prairies this week. And that's going to usher in that change over in the pattern as well. As we're going through this week, we will be looking at a clipper that will be distributing and adding energy right across into the secondary low, pushing across central Canada. And what it's going to start off with is the rain for BC, the clipper forming, bringing mainly rain towards the northern regions of the prairies heading into Monday, Tuesday, all the way into Thursday. That's what's going to be bringing heavy rainfall once again for those northern regions, areas like northern Saskatchewan looking upwards of 50 to 75 millimeters by the time that we head into next weekend. Wow, so we do know that this is good news in terms of really saturating that ground, setting us up better as we go into July and August, which can be a very dry time of year. So Rhythm, let's now talk about some of the pattern flips that we are going to see, especially with the ridge that's developed. Well, the ridge is going to be developing across British Columbia. We see that troughing in the east, so anywhere there's a trough on the back end, there has to be a ridge somewhere. British Columbia into next weekend, that's when we will be looking at those temperatures definitely increasing. So when we take a look at the departures from normal for next Sunday in the east, we look at those temperatures around seasonal, even below seasonal a touch. But in the west, Vancouver, 25 degrees, which is 6 degrees above the seasonal for this time of year. Yes, that is great news because they're finally going to get some sun, especially after all the rain that we've seen across the prairies. But again, that does increase the risk for some of those fire danger warnings. Absolutely. Now, Vancouver has just been looking at daytime highs around 12, 13, 14 degrees consistently. So I know the, the beach weather will be appreciated by many. But before we get to that beach weather, still a decent amount of rain to get through for the Fraser Valley. And that's going to be through today right across British Columbia. Not just just through today, but rather through the beginning of this week. We're going to be looking at not one, but two systems pushing on in. But let's talk about the one for today, Rachel, where you already have been looking at that rain pushing in to the BC South Coast. Down towards for the Fraser Valley, we will be looking at heavy localized precipitation for this evening. That means some of those rainfalls upwards of about three millimeters an hour. That's going to push into the Kootenai region, into Prince George and other areas like that. So we will be looking at multiple rounds of showers and a secondary system moving in on Tuesday. All right, so Rhythm, let's take a look beyond and jump into next weekend because I think this helps paint the picture for many Canadians in terms of how things are going to change. So we talked about that troughing in the east, right? That's going to also bring in some more unsettled weather across regions of Toronto into Ottawa. So that rain is coming back. I know a lot of golfers are definitely going to be upset, but luckily you're, uh, you're the Canadian Open was fine, but in the West, that sunny weather, the high pressure still lingering, finally bringing some sunshine across BC. All right, Rhythm, thanks so much for breaking it down. That was a recap on what you can expect for weather through the first week of June as we look right across the country.